Hello universe, Universal Fungi here, and in this video, I'm trying out the No Pour Agar Tech. The No Pour Agar Tech is done by pouring your agar before it's been sterilized. Usually, agar is sterilized first and then poured into petri dishes in front of a flow hood or in a still air box. This method eliminates having to pour the agar in a clean environment. The materials I use and you will need to do this tech are two ounce mason jars, agar premix from tip of the cap mushroom, a gram scale, a pot and a pressure cooker. I started off by washing all the jars by hand. I've had these jars for a couple of years from when I first started with BRF cakes. I plan on doing a video in the future on BRF. It's an awesome entry level way of understanding the cultivation process. Washing these was time consuming. One day I hope to cultivate for a living and when I do, I wouldn't do this. But for somebody starting out at home, this is a good entry to agar. These jars are reusable compared to the disposable Petri dishes. So if you make a mistake, you can always start over. After washing all of the jars, I set them on a towel and allow them to air dry. I want to mention, if you enjoy the content, go follow the Universal Fungi Instagram and TikTok to see more. Okay, back to the tech. While the mason jars are air drying, I fill the pot with one liter of cold water and I measure out 36.5 grams of dry mix malt yeast extract agar from tip of the cap mushroom on a gram scale. I put the pot with the one liter of water on the stove and turn the heat onto high. I add the dry mix to the pot and wait for the agar to come to a boil. While I wait for the agar to start boiling, I prep the jars. When the agar is at a boil and it is all mixed together, I poured it into a container and began pouring agar into the jars. I had a lot more agar left from this batch, so I stored that in a jar and I will be pressure cooking it with the rest. I can always save this for later and boil it down again. After I poured all the jars, I went ahead and put all the lids on a quarter unscrewed to allow steam to vent and covered them with tin foil. Next, I load the pressure cooker up and pressure cook all this for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I let the pressure cooker cool down on its own and then I remove the jars, allowing them to cool further. Once the agar has fully solidified, it is ready to be used. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Much love.